Right. In this tutorial, we're going to show how to check in a Flash Builder project into Subversion. Um, the project is SVN Demo. It's up here in Flash Builder. I'm going to navigate to that folder within my uh, Projects folder. Now, this tutorial assumes that you've already installed um, Subversion for the PC. I'm going to right click, and I've got Tortoise SVN set up. So I'm going to do an SVN checkout. And I've already got my URL in here. This is where you would place your URL for the, uh, the server. I'm going to click on this button here to navigate to that folder on the server. This will populate with all of the projects that I've got on my Subversion server and allow me to create a new folder for this project. So after all of the projects have populated, we can right click on the projects folder, click create a new folder. We're going to name this SVN Demo. Click OK. Created new project folder. OK. And then in just a second here, we're going to have the folder for a project. There we go. I'm going to click on that folder. You'll notice that it's empty, and that's OK. Click OK. Um, now the one thing that Taurus SVN likes to do is create um, a folder within your folder, um, but we don't want to do that. We want this actually to be checked out into SVN Demo. So I'm going to remove the folder within a folder there, and then we're going to check out SVN Demo into SVN Demo, fully recursive, click OK. It's going to tell you that the target directory is not empty. That's OK, um, because once we've checked it out, we're going to be able to check in all of our files. Are you sure you want to check out into this folder? Yes. And this is going to go ahead and um, kind of synchronize this folder with the one on the web and allow us to check in all of our files. There we go. You know, you notice a little um, green check mark there, uh, which signifies that this is uh, synced with the repository on the web. You can go into that folder. None of these files have that green mark, which means that none of them are checked in. We can right click now and we have the option to update or commit. Update will update from the remote repository and commit will commit the new files or any changes that we've made um, out to the repository. Before we do that, we're going to right click on the bin debug folder and we're going to go to um, Taurus SVN and add to the ignore list. Um, we're going to do this because the bin debug bug folder is automatically generated by Flash Builder and it's not something that we want to um, waste space on the server with um, and it's also not something that we want to take the time to check out every time because it's something that's um, created by Flash Builder. So now that we've added that to the ignore list, we can right click um, and commit. And another thing to keep in mind is that the action script properties and dot project file, um, you may also want to add those to the ignore list um, just because they contain files um, that are unique to this machine. Um, if you're working with multiple people on a project or if you've got this project set up on multiple machines with different configurations, um, you're going to be really, you want to be really careful about checking these files in um, or maybe adding a, um, a variable within Flash Builder that um, kind of dynamically populates some of those values. Um, but it, because on this project I'm the only one using this, I'm going to go ahead and check those files in. I'm going to select all, click OK, and it's going to go ahead and um, commit all of my local files to the remote repository. There we go. So now everything is checked into the repository. If we go back out and back into the folder, we should see um, some green icons next to these folders here. Uh, it might take a little while for the, um, the computer to recognize these as being committed. We can always go in and try to do another commit and it will tell us that nothing has changed um, so all the files are on the server. And that's how you um, check in a project to SVN. Whenever you make any changes to any of the files um, you can just right click on that file or on that folder and go SVN commit and send the files to the repository. If you'd like to do an update, if you've made changes on a different machine or 
um, or working with somebody else, you can right click and do an update and it will update any of the files in that directory for you.